please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning and welcome to the Shrine and Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins, and we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. In all humility, all together we say, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my ways, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. to God in the highest.
let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray at all times, go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The gift of wisdom enables a person to know what is most precious in God's eyes. King Solomon preferred wisdom to gold or silver, health or beauty. A reading from the Book of Wisdom I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne, and deem riches nothing in comparison with her. Nor did I liken any priceless gem to her, because all gold in view of her is a little sand, and before her silver is to be accounted mire. Beyond health and comeliness I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Yet all good things together came to me in her company, and countless riches at her hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Make us glad for the days when you afflicted us, for the years when we saw evil. Let your work be seen by your servants, and your glory by their children, and may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. God sees what is in our hearts. His word judges our secret emotions and thoughts. We cannot hide anything from the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, indeed the word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him, to whom we must render an account. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments, you shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not defraud, honor your father and your mother. And he replied and said to him, Teacher, all this I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus again said to them and replied, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then, who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. Peter began to say to him, We have given up everything and followed you. And Jesus said, Amen, I say to you. There is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children with persecutions and eternal life in the age to come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sinabi ng mga alagad kay Jesus, Iniwan namin ang lahat at sumunod sa iyo. Ano naman mapapala namin? Ano naman makukuha namin? Ano naman ang para sa amin dyan? Ano naman ang kapalit ng pagsunod namin sa iyo? Praktikal ang mga alagad. Karaniwang tao naghanap ng kapalit sa kanilang mga ibinigay. Si Jesus, Diyos ng katotohanan. Kaya sinabi niya ang totoo. Right at the very start, Jesus laid his cards on the table. Eto ho, sa pagsunod nyo sa akin, papasan din kayo ng krus. Sa pagsunod nyo sa akin, kayo'y uusi, uusigin, pahirapan, pagawan ng masama, papasan kayo ng krus. Walang tinago si Jesus. Nilantad niyang lahat. Hindi sa paasa. Hindi sa nangangampanya. Hindi siya nagbitiw ng mga matatamis na salita para lang may sumunod sa kanya. Sinabi niya ang totoo. Wala siyang tinago. Kaya, hindi natin masisisi ang Diyos ha? kapag ka naging tapat tayo na Kristo at susunod kay Kristo, pag makaranas tayo ng mga pagsubok, mga paghihirap, mauno sa buhay. I told you so, right at the very start. Susunod kayo sa akin, papasanin nyo ang krus. Ang pagiging krisyano, sabihin niya, tagasunod ni Kristo. Kristiano, tagasunod kay Kristo. At hindi madali, mahirap ang maging totoo, tunay, at tapat na Kristiano. To be a follower of Christ, to be a true Christian, is only for the brave, the strong, 
and the courageous. Kasi, hindi nga madali. Hindi to para sa mga taong mahilig sa masarap na buhay. Hindi to para sa mga taong may pansariling ambisyon. Hindi to para sa mga taong mahilig sa posisyon, parangal, pera, at pasarap. Hindi ito pwede para sa mga taong tamad, hindi marunong gumanap sa kanilang responsibilidad. Hindi ito pwede para sa mga taong sinungaling, hindi marunong magsabi ng totoo. Hindi ito pwede para sa mga taong madamot, hindi marunong magbigay at tumulong. Hindi ito pwede para sa mga taong mayabang, hindi marunong pakumbaba. Hindi ito pwede para sa mga taong hindi marunong magsakripisyo. Yan ang pagiging kristyano. Nilantad din ni Kristo sa atin sa mulat mula pa. So yung sumunod sa akin, eto, pataporma ko. Kaya ito'y palaala din sa atin na suriin yung ating sarili kasi natutuwa tayo pag tayo tinatawag ng mga kristyano. Kristiano. Pero hanggang doon na lang ba? Yung tawagin ka lang Kristiano. Hindi kasi sapat na maging Kristiano ka na nakasimba ka, nakapasok ka ng simbahan, nagawa mo yung panata mo, yung debosyon mo, nakapunta ka sa manawan. Hindi sapat yun eh. Kung ang buhay mo ay salungat sa buhay ni Kristo. Kasi ang pagiging kristyano, ang buhay mo, ang pamumuhay mo ay sangayon sa buhay ni Kristo. Kaya ka nga kristyano eh. Ito yung magandang panahon. Yung umisa natin to, bang tayo nagdadasal, nagsisibay, suriin yung ating sarili. Ako ba'y tunay na kristyano? Ako ba'y marunong magsakripisyo? May disiplina ba ako sa sarili ko? Nagbibigay, tumutulong ba ako na hindi nagahangat ng kapalit? Hindi ba ako nangaapi, naninira ng kapwa ako, nalalamang ng kapwa ako? Sa gitna ng mga pagsubok, sa gitna ng matinding mga pinagdadaanan, naging matapang ba ako? Hindi ba ako nawala ng pag-asa? Kumakapit ba ako sa Diyos? Yan yung dapat na pagnilayan natin upang makita Kristiyano din pala ako. Kristiyano din pala ako. Ito'y magandang paalaala sa atin. Yung ating Ibanghelyo ngayong linggo. Para muling sariwain at suriin ang ating pagiging Kristiyano. Tagasunod ni Kristo. Walang hinahangad kundi ang maging malapit sa Diyos Mamuhay ng matuwid at marangal, walang inapi, walang sinasaktan, marunong maawa at matulungin, hindi nawalan ng pag-asa sa gitna ng mga pagsubok, at pagdating ng panahon, ang makapiling ang Diyos sa tunay na buhay, ang buhay na walang hanggan. Sitayo po tayo. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made consubstantial with the Father. To Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit 
the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, was spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus said that where our treasures are, there will also our hearts be. We pray now to you, Heavenly Father, that we may store up treasures that will afford us the happiness that never ends in your kingdom. As we say, hear the prayer of your church, Lord. Hear the prayer of your church, O Lord. For the Holy Father, the bishops, the clergy, and all who exercise authority in the church, may they proclaim and live out the values of the kingdom with zeal and conviction we pray hear the prayer of your church o lord for all government officials may they not succumb to the idolatry of money that will make them hunger for more and be indifferent to the outcry of the poor the exploited and the needy we pray hear the prayer of your church o lord for all of us god May we learn from this pandemic that our best protection is God, our best refuge is our home, and our best company is our family. We pray. Hear the prayer of your church, O Lord. For indigenous peoples, may they be respected at all costs and be appreciated on account of their culture and tradition. May they be spared from all kinds of discrimination and abuse. We pray. Hear the prayer of your church, O Lord. For all the faithful departed, may they be welcomed by all the saints and angels into the kingdom of God. We pray. Hear the prayer of your church, O Lord. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Hear the prayer of your church, O Lord. Father, keep our hearts close to your kingdom. May we aspire for things that will last and not be attached to all the lures of this passing world. We ask this to Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that to these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven, to Christ. 
Our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering, cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end there. We acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, 
her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
Here is Jesus Christ. He is our leader. We are his followers. We follow him. He's the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns, Forever and ever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikiisa sa banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, 
and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawad, may these rosaries, candles, images, oil, scapulars, crucifixes, and other articles of devotion be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.